Good morning everyone. So we're back here again today in this area as you can see. And then today I've got the the truss strap and I've also got this little fancy toy right here as you can see. So basically what I did kind of did the old redneck duct tape type situation here too. Except this this rake, um, the fingers aren't as long. The ones on that rake are like maybe like five inches, these ones are like two and a half probably the only downside but hopefully with this thing the stick it could extend like what 8 to 23 feet 2.4 meters to 7 meters so hopefully the goal is with this standing like way over there that I'll be able to reach the dam from here so that's the plan I haven't extended it all the way Look at that. This thing looks like it's gonna snap. Oh yeah, dude. That's so sketchy. It's not long enough. Look at that stick. Oh, I touched it, damn. Okay, there's something there. It seems like there's a lot of grass built up. a good idea but planning wise horrible Calves are on fire right now, trying to balance in this water. I really should have brought a ruler with me, but it's kind of hard to measure this thing out. So what I'll do, I guess I'll just put a stick in here. I don't know if that's sure. I'll put this in here. It's like what about sticking out an inch? Where is it? Right here. I'll see, I'll be able to measure it. Okay, so I tried opening up a little bit. I didn't really get any luck because I'm still too far away to get enough leverage to pull it back. The pole just bends too much. If I had like another three feet, maybe it would've been a lot easier. But I think what I'll try to do, instead of pulling things towards me, I'll just try to push it back because it seems like that's actually helped a lot. I don't really see that the water's topping over on the side anymore, it's kind of all in the center.
I thought I did a lot more than what it is. Pulling it back is basically nearly impossible with that little attachment I have, but it seems that it is draining a lot more. I don't know if the current's increased, but it's definitely draining. I don't know, but I don't think it's gonna match the outflow right here. I don't think it's gonna match what's pouring out from there. So we'll have to give it another push. Basically this entire side right here, this uh, right side is like reinforced, it's solid. I can't really push it, I can't really pull it. That side right here where I kind of wedged it, I was able to get through there. And I basically realized it's a lot easier to, to push it because you have the, the force of the water, the pressure of the water pushing against it instead of pulling it, going against the water. So that's just physics, but yeah. We're gonna wait like two minutes and then I'm gonna keep going because maybe it's gonna erode any sediment or anything built up right there and it should be able to move. Actually, look at this, look at that. The stick I put in, this was in water, now it's gone. It, it receded a little bit. That's awesome. I don't know if it's the same over here. Looking at like this leaf and some of this stuff, it looks like it's very slowly being pulled back. Wow. Okay, came over to the old, this post. I don't know what it's there for, but maybe it's post 10. <laughs> but, okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm trying to make a little mark. I don't have a knife with me, so. I don't know if I can do it. This is very bad. Bad in the sense that the mark is. Okay, well, and that's noticeable where I Right, I marked it. Oops. Hope you can see that. It's not like very faint. Right there. That's gonna be my indicator. Looks like it's dropping, but it's just extremely slow. And from a distance, you can see that pole right there. Look at that. That thing's long. Like I have it extended like 20 feet right now. But we'll wait a couple of minutes and then I'll try to come down there and push again. So if you can see, it's very minimal here, but the water level has dropped about a fourth of an inch right here. So it is slowly coming down. I think we got it. Looking at how much water's pouring out, we definitely got it. It's hard to tell, but.
we open up a little bit of this and that part there is very dense i can't really get to it because it's far from shore but i do see that this little area the stream is starting to flow a lot more Okay, well, unfortunately, the rake that I had attached to the pole is now somewhere over there. The duct tape finally failed, and the rake is stuck in there. So now the beavers have a new tool they can use. But I did bend one of the little fingers back, like it was like off to the side. So, you know, they only have two things to work with. But water level is coming down pretty good. I can see more of this dam now. What's interesting is that they pack the back of the dam with canary grass. So I think maybe this is why this area is clear because they're taking it out and they're packing it up. They're kind of adding maybe insulation, you can say. But yeah, it's very interesting. And so right now the water's coming down. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen right now because it looks like there's like a little bit of a log or something else. And then I can kind of see it, it's about to top over the old dam. So it'll probably drop maybe another three inches and then it'll probably stop for a bit. I'm seeing actually a really big change, which is awesome. If you look at this right here, this post that we can name post 10, look at that. It's dropped two inches. That is crazy. It started about just right here. Maybe that's about three inches. No, that's about two inches. That is awesome. So it's slowly dropping. And uh, two inches. Let's see, I don't know. I don't know at what rate it's dropping. It's probably like a sixteenth of an inch every like ten minutes or something like that. If that's the case. I don't know if that's a good calculation, but so or no no no, that's about it. It's probably like one eighth of an inch every 10 minutes but yeah that's cool so water level is going to drop and uh we'll come back here in like two hours three hours and we're going to check it out again so yeah there's that right there and then right here this is the area that i usually cross it's a lot more defined now i can see kind of what's going on in here i can see what's going on i can see this piece of wood this piece of wood might even be sticking out soon if it keeps dropping Hey everyone, so we're back here um, again. It's been about two hours, two and a half hours. And it seems that the water level has dropped maybe about another inch and it's kind of remaining at that. I think what's happening now is that the, the outflow of this dam is matching the, the flow coming in from that. So the outflow of this one is matching what's coming in through that dam. And basically, uh, now it's just kind of keeping one even level. So if you look right here, you have this uh, have this log, and that's an old cedar tree. And when I uh, was here originally, I thought that it started up somewhere over here, but apparently its roots are probably somewhere there. So this was like right there before. And this is something that fell from all the water being built up. I'm not sure how long ago was this was because I've never been to the point where I'm standing right now. And so, you know, it's kind of interesting. As the water keeps uh, keeps getting lower and lower, you can start seeing a lot more stuff. Like right here, there's a log. You can partially make that out. There one's like that. 
Um, I can kind of see a bank in this area. Like right there, there's some dirt. So this is probably another bank. I could probably walk around here. You can look at that. See how all this duckweed is kind of built up in the grass? So that kind of shows you how much the water's dropped. It's been a good three inches plus. And it might still be dropping, but I'm not too sure. I can't confirm that one. But if you look over here, let's go back to the post tent. Oh no, the water's level dropped a little bit more. But as you can see, uh, yeah, it's probably just about three inches that it's it's uh, fallen in total. But those three inches is actually a pretty big difference. I can see a lot more of the shore. I can see in the water right here, like the how shallow it is now. So, so what I'll end up doing right now is instead of raking the grass, I'm gonna take advantage of the lower water level and I'm gonna make myself a path where I can, uh, where I can cross right here somewhere and get to the dam easier because this right there, I can't really access anything over there. It's too complicated and it's too deep and doing it with a pole constantly isn't gonna work out. So I'm gonna do clear out a trail and then that way I'll have an access point and maybe even today I'll clean up some more of the dam but that'll probably be another video so thank you for watching this video I appreciate it let me know what you guys think sorry if there's too much babbling too much talking there's not really much I can do about it sometimes you just want to comment on things even though your commentary maybe not maybe it's not the most interesting but you know sometimes that's how life works you gotta listen to people. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good night. God bless. Bye.